Welcome back to Vlogs. I am in the studio room. Look at this. And then we got Mr. Tomnus and Ty with our soundboards on the wall there. You're trapped um, in here with me now. You trapped me in here? Yeah. Oh, no. Door's locked. Oh no. Closed. Is there even a lock on this door? There's no lock. I don't think there's locks on really any of the doors. Just the bathrooms. Not open. even our bedroom door really locks. Well, that door you can just weird. push open. I don't know why. People who designed this house were like, no one's getting locked in rooms here. Except bathrooms. Except, yeah, our bathrooms do have locks. Before we get into this video, playing happy birthday backwards, which probably sounds so bizarre to anyone who has not seen my main channel video, go and watch that first. I just posted it. So over here on the blog channel, we always do the weird stuff that I talk about on the main channel. The stuff I tell you guys not to do, we do over on this channel <laughs> we're trying that today ty is trying to download happy birthday right now i think the happy birthday song is copyright free because it was made back in i don't even know the late 1800s early 1900s i think early 1900s well what do you know the history with our good old friend youtube music they have it they have it in one two a million different versions. So how, which version like do we use for this? 11 versions. Okay, we'll choose the most classic sounding Copyright version. free. Yeah. My vote is happy birthday at the pub. <laughs> Why are there so many versions? Okay, so we're gonna download the most classic one and then we're gonna put it into our editing software and we're gonna play it backwards for you guys. And um, apparently when you listen to it backwards, it tells you your last birthday, which is pretty dark and spooky. So we're gonna see if that actually happens. But before we get started, I just wanna thank you guys so much for all the support you gave me on my last video that I posted. I literally spent like two hours yesterday reading all of your really supportive comments and you guys are so understanding, so amazing, so supportive. And I saw you guys posting all over social media, tagging TikTok Canada and TikTok on Twitter, on the actual TikTok app, on Instagram. You guys are amazing. And you've all been really respectful while doing it, which is what I wanted from the start. Some people are even doing it each day, which I think is really awesome. Just remember no harassing, no mean comments, but I think doing it every single day is great. I think the more attention we bring to this, the better, as long as we're staying kind and respectful. But just an update, I have not heard from TikTok. They have not answered any of you guys or myself on any social media, so they're still ignoring us. So I'll give you um, more updates as they come. But anyways, thank you so much for your support. You guys are so amazing. So with that being said, we are going to play I guess we'll play some of the song forwards and then we'll play some of it backwards. Does that make sense? Here we go. Is this the jazz one? It is. We have a happy birthday samba, mm -hmm. a mambo. Oh, let's see what a bossa nova is. Bossa nova. Seriously? Wait, what's at the pub? I gotta know what's at the pub. Usually me on a Sunday. Oh, fancy. And there's like people talking in the background. I feel like that could be potentially creepy. Let's do, look, there's a normal one right there. That's, that's, that's not very normal. <laughs> Sounds like a funeral. Old timey. Wait, that's creepy. So that means that's the one we're using then. No, I think we gotta find the most normal sounding one. Bouncy. Oh my goodness, guys. Wait, is there no one singing happy birthday? Because isn't that the point? And then you hear them talking backwards. Bean! Okay, this is... This is pretty funny, so, oh, it's not even focused. This is pretty funny, so the only song on the copyright free YouTube library for songs is uh, the pub one, and it's a bunch of drunk people singing happy birthday, so we're gonna have to put that backwards because we can't use an instrumental because there's no talking, so you wouldn't hear your birthday, your last birthday being set. So we're gonna try this weird pub one. 
and we're gonna put it backwards so let's see what happens with this so someone's gonna drunkenly tell us <laughs> when our last birthday is i guess <laughs> okay so we're gonna play it forward first so you guys can hear just the normal sound of it Okay, so that's the normal way, and now we're gonna reverse it. And time for the reverse. Reverse! That's <laughs> not funny, it's scary. I didn't like that at all. Did you learn anything? I didn't hear any words. I feel like that's just what you end up hearing after you've had too much at the pub. Yeah, probably. Probably. <laughs> I'm not speaking from experience, not at all. <laughs> that was weird. I didn't hear any words, but it almost sounded at some points like they were singing it normally. <laughs> Comment down below if you heard any creepy words, because I didn't, but also we're using such a weird version of the song, but it was the hey, only one available. The best version. It's the best. Happy birthday at a pub. <laughs> doesn't get better than that. It doesn't. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys try this, let us know. And if you want us to continue doing follow-ups of main channel videos, give this video a thumbs up and let us know. But um, before we end the video, I'm gonna show you some of the phones that I had in high school because a lot of you watching right now were born when I was in like college, which is insane to me. So we have phones that we used from all the way back to I think early, probably like 2003 was one of the first ones we have in our box here. So to you guys, that's probably ancient ancient Egyptian. So um, we're gonna show some of those phones. Why are you looking at me like that? Tumnus just farted. He it farted? Right up my nose. Oh no. <laughs> Stop chewing the boxes. I think he read that and he thought it said grab. I can't even see because Winnie's in the way. But it says garb. <laughs> grab it. <laughs> grab it. <laughs> Okay, so the reason why we're showing you guys these phones is because my dad found this box of old phones in his office storage and he was like, do you want these? And I was like, yes, for sure. So I'm gonna show you the evolution of our family's phones. This was one of my dad's first phones. Look how small it is. But this is how you text. You have to use this little keyboard here and each number has a bunch of, it has three different letters on it. So you had to press each one or two times to get to like the letter that you wanted. Maybe three and sometimes four times because there's some of those letters right there are the fourth one. Yeah, so this was one of my dad's first phones. My mom had this pink phone here, same thing. Flip it open, you have to type using this. I had one of those phones as well. You Mine didn't... was jet black. Okay, I was like, was yours hot pink too? <laughs> I wish. So if you guys wanna see my first phone, this is so embarrassing. So back when I was in grade six and seven, my parents didn't want me to have a phone. I actually didn't even have a cell phone until I was probably in grade nine or 10. Um, so I was like 14 years old when I got my first cell phone. Unlike people nowadays getting phones at like three years old. Anyway, my first phone was this. It was called a Firefly and it was a safety phone for kids. So basically you only could call your mom or your dad and then it had a little phone book to call I think five of your closest relatives. You couldn't text on it. You couldn't do anything else. You could only call your mom and dad. And yeah. it came with a keychain. This was this one on my backpack and I was made fun of this for uh, quite a while at school because all my other friends had phones and I had a firefly that could call two people and not text at all. So that was my first phone guys. I kind of don't even want to keep it. It's very embarrassing. This was my second phone. <laughs> it's so tiny. So yeah, this is what it was and you just typed on here once again. Um, I really didn't text at first because it was so difficult to do so. Yeah, so texting just, wasn't a normal thing on wasn't. cell phones. You called people or you like messaged them on Facebook. And more often than not, the letters on the numbers were used to call numbers that, you know, like for advertisements or whatnot that put their name as their phone number. Yeah. That's what they were used for. So there was that. And then my next phone was this and it finally became easier because it looked like this, you call people and then to text, it does that. 
and then you actually have a keyboard there. See, I, I, I miss phones that have like keyboards and like actual buttons on them. Touch screens and big fingers don't mix very These well. These were so awesome. I felt so cool like doing this like with my phone. I wonder if it still has my old text and stuff on it. And then this was my next phone, the Blackberry. Now I got the Blackberry in like 2012 after Blackberries weren't really popular anymore. That was like when iPhones became really popular, but I was always like five years behind on trends. This was like end of high school, early college. And then I had another Blackberry for another couple of years in college. I didn't get an iPhone until I was like, <laughs> I don't know, graduated from college. And yeah, those are the evolutions of our family phones. There was phones before even this one, obviously. This was early 2000s, but my dad had like a bigger, like it looked chunky, like, cell phones See, when they first came out. Never had those big chunky phones, but I'll put my first cell phone up on the screen right now. It was a brick. It was better yeah. used as a bludgeon than a phone. Comment down below what your first phone was and uh, if you're surprised by any, any of these weird gadgets. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, we'll see you in our next one. Bye. See you guys. Bye.